it's May 11th, 2022. I'm watching um, a rerun, something this morning on a different program that I just mentioned reminded me there was a, C a person on CBS this morning um, from one of the CDC personnel that looks palish. So I'm, it reminded me of the other pal that I saw, but their pal is from Guyana. Um, I saw it on um, CBS local news, um, part of an Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. Now, I've checked my local calendar. I checked my three calendar system. It only says the word May. M-A-Y. It does not say A-A-P-I. It does not say anything like that in my on my calendar that I have one from Boys Town, one from USA, and one from the U.S. Uh, one from Sons of Italy, which is Italian, which is that Latinish, and then the um, the America, the America, the North one. Th those are, I cross-referenced those three along with the unrest in the American colonies and this American revolting war, or they call it revolutionary, but I think it's just revolting. Um, so I'm now looking, so I'm referencing back to this piece because I didn't do it on the day. It was on Mother's Day that I had on my calendar, but my children, whatever. Um, so I'm looking at this. Now, this one I've referenced before, but I didn't bring a picture up. They're from Guyana, but they're working in an institution and wearing as registered nurses and employees in a place that is called Long Island Jewish Institute. Now, there is a specific religion involved in this Jewish word, usually, indicative of some religious agreement or whatever. Um, what I am unclear of is why their facility managers, their funding managers, their participants in this Jewish culture, in a J-E-W-I-S-H, not J-U, to be specific, because they are held in a standard, normally, more SU, S-U, in Italiano, Latin, whatever. Um, but I do not understand why they are hiring non-Jewish descent and non-Jewish ancestors and then adorning them in their label and their brand. That makes no sense to me whatsoever in New York. It also crosses um, religious expectations of when you take blood from or tissue sample. And so, I mean, it opens Pandora's box for the amount of legalities that they have violated by hiring these people. But this is how they present it on the news, like it's no big thing, because that's what the locals have been doing in New York during this turnover period. And I'm like, they're not New England. They're not the look. The, I mean, like, if I am hiring a, and a casting director for a movie, if I play Ron Howard, just for a minute, I don't, I mean, I don't want to be him. He's him, and he's really important. But if I was, because he's the only one I saw that actually, like, had a career just recently. Um, still working in the field, no less. So if I was him and I was hiring for a movie and I was casting it as New England, like Downton Abbey, and that was what my script said, that's what my expectation was, that's how I labeled it, that was my mission, that was my subject, that was my, my whatever. And then these people showed up I'd have a problem. I mean, who do I call on set to have these persons removed if I have a closed private set 
needing to look like Downton Abbey, and then somehow some other cast arrives, or some other, well, on my set, no less. Just curious. Because there's like, this is just not matching up in real world, real field in New York, and it's prevalent a lot of places, indicative of an invasion, and I don't know where to report this or how to get help for this in real terms. And Pacific Islander heritage means turning the page on hate. A proud nurse on Long Island says Mother's Day always brings her special joy. And again, it says turning the page on hate. This is not hate. This is public health. This is public education. This is like... This is personal health and safety of one's own blood and blood-borne illnesses that can happen in laboratories that usually go along with some form of tissue culture and blood sampling. So why on earth, in this area, if the facility managers and the facility institutions and the funding and the religious organization is built in one way, why are they ever hiring something that is outside of their scope of what they are? Because they have to define it in some charter somewhere. But this keeps Wait, happening throughout New York. It's a big problem. Her sons, who she inspired to also become nurses. CBS 2's Carolyn Gossoff reports. There are special bonds at Long Island Jewish Hospital Valley. Okay. So here. There's the label. Long Island Jewish. And then it's a Valley Stream. Valley Stream is the town that this particular Long Island Jewish functions within, then they have some umbrella, whatever, of North Well Health. Okay. So here we are. Dream. I'm going to be a nurse. Now, this is the nurse. And this is the patient. Where are the standards and guidelines for the charter when it was originally funded? Not just between staff and patients. For the Mohans, <laughs> nursing is a family affair. Kalauti and her two sons are nurses here, but it didn't start this way. A nurse in her native Guyana, she came to New York. Nurse in native Guyana. And then came here. This is a prevalent story about these traveling persons and stories that keep trying to change the establishment and the settlers that are already here into somehow accepting their traveling. How do we end that? York worked in banking, but quickly realized she had a calling. It wasn't giving me that what, how do you say? I wasn't getting fulfillment. At 44, with two young sons, she went to nursing school and encouraged them to follow suit. You have to do something that you love. You make a difference in people's lives when you're out there. You were able to help someone. You've got to do something that you like that's, you know, going to take care of you financially, but it's going to be rewarding. Two of them landed at nursing school together. Someone said, are you guys dating? And that made him like, no, we're not. It's my mother. That's your mom? Your mom's the coolest. Younger son Barry joined the field a decade later. My mom is like a superhero to me. She was working two full-time jobs. She was going to school. She, she was a mom, and she cooked every day. Every day at 5 o'clock in the morning, she got up and she cooked. Working together has its perks, like motherly advice. You look neat, they will trust you. You walk in with wrinkle unkempt, 
They're like, oh, he's going to take care of me? I don't think so. I still listen. You know, even though I'm like, I argue with her, you, you, you still have that thing, that little bit that says, okay, yes, mom. On Mother's Day, someone has to man the front lines. They're both working. And they'll be doing as mom taught. She gave me a career that I would not have had, and now I'm very fulfilled in what I do. She's worked so much for us. That's all she's done, I feel like. And so at this point, I want her to reap what she sowed. As for her Mother's Day gifts, Kalauti says she already has the greatest gifts, two of them. That was my dream. They, I wanted them to be not somebody on the street. I want them to do something that makes a difference in people's life. Mom was right. Doing what you love makes a difference. In Valley Stream, Long Island, Carolyn Gus off CBS 2 News. And happy Nurses Week to all you wonderful nurses out there. Another check on our top... Somewhere uh, there was, um, in around 2001, 2002, the news made a statement um, that there was a nursing shortage. I went to pursue nursing in that time frame, um, but there were huge stumbling blocks to getting in. There were only so many applications taken. There, you had to take prerequisites by the time you could get into those classes and finish those classes. Then there was a waiting period. By the time I got into nursing school and I got the letter, I wound up over within, it was like a nine month, I, I wound up getting pregnant. And then I wound up having, it was, and then I couldn't go back. So it's, there were so many stumbling blocks of unacceptable, like, it just was, everything is so tragically difficult in this area. But there was also, by the time I got into my first clinical, because I did pursue it, even though I was pregnant, um, I went into the hospital for that one set of clinicals just to look around and see what Rockville Center had at Mercy Hospital. And there was such an influx of um, of out of country participants. I don't know why. I have no idea how that happened. I don't know who was at the helm, who allowed them. They just like descended on New York and the hospital system, and I have no idea with whose permission, because it violates so many more things. Um, and. I also had a friend in high school um, who went to St. Dominic's but then transferred out. She went to a BOCES and she wound up getting into the hospital as a nurse like like right away. Like they accepted her from high school straight into the nursing program and boom, she was a nurse. And I'm like, without having to do big long educations and things, I did not have the same experience. They made the pursuit of health care for me so difficult. It was like, it was, uh, it was, it was really difficult. But it's what New York has been doing my entire career path or my entire attempt at supporting myself. Since I have no six foot over to look up to. Since that was taken from me as well. It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Caterosa. It's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is Broken. It's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.